It's Sonny's Piano TV Show. Today, featuring internet sensation Margarita Dominguez. The Million Dollar Piano Splash. Guitarist Mark Dante. And Sonny in the News. And now, Here's Sonny. Hello everyone, I'm Sonny. I want to welcome you to another Sonny Piano TV show. This is the TV show that's completely devoted to pianos, to health and well-being, to uh, music, and to you. And as usual, lots and lots of interesting things on our TV show today. Um, today we have a, a guest artist with us and guest host, uh, Margarita Dominguez, a uh, very talented uh, uh, woman. Hi, I'm Margarita Dominguez. I'm here at Sunny's Piano Warehouse in Long Island, and I am just in heaven playing all these gorgeous piano. I will be the co-host for today. She's going to uh, play the piano for us, and she's going to uh, talk to us a little bit about her, her various careers in modeling and acting, and uh, well, so we'll get to that in just a little bit. Also on today's show, we have uh, a couple of uh, video clips of, uh, of, of me uh, that uh, w was done by Newsday when they interviewed me, and then also Fios, uh, Verizon Fios News uh, One, uh, also came down and did an uh, interview about the million dollar uh, the Steinway and the uh, green cheese Steinways. So we're gonna have that today. Also, at my mother's bequest, we have my brother Mark, the uh, amazing guitar player, and the band leader for the uh, uh, orchestra, uh, the project uh, here on Long Island. And uh, he's going to just be sitting down doing a little bit of uh, uh, shredding for us. So uh, he'll be here and I don't make my mother happy. And uh, also today we have a couple of video tours of some pianos that we have. So uh, lots of very interesting things, a diversified show. So uh, here we go. Here is Margarita Dominguez playing a Prince's Love piano the Million Dollar Steinway at Sonny's Pianos.
Here are Sonny and his friends playing a prince's love piano, the Million Dollar Steinway.
And now, here's Sonny's brother, Mark Dante. I know you will enjoy. have been jamming since they were little kids. I hope you guys enjoy. Recently, Sunny got interviewed by Newsday by reporter Valerie Kellogg. She did a wonderful piece on Sunny's art case pianos at his warehouse. They did a video and here is the clip. I hope you guys enjoy. There's nothing else like this. The princes love piano. I've always had an interest and been fascinated by art case pianos. And art case pianos are pianos that they made into works of art. You know, we just love uh, you know, restoring them. And, uh, and, just, uh, and, and I love playing them too. But we love getting them to folks so that they can be appreciated. This is a Steinway uh, made in the Hamburg, Germany factory uh, in 1900. Just a remarkable instrument. It took us a year to restore both the instrument and the artwork. And we had two artists restore the art, and we had a series of technicians and craftsmen restore the instrument, and it just came out incredible. The instrument is incredible. It's a, not just a one in a million Steinway, it's a one of a kind Steinway. And so that's why we call it the Million Dollar Steinway, and it's a million dollars. Okay, we're back. And, uh, you know, Margarita, recently uh, we've been working with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, uh, Long Island chapter, to try to help bring more awareness uh, uh, to the need to find the cure for type 1 diabetes. So type 1 diabetes is a very uh, debilitating condition, and uh, it, it's rough, especially when the little kids uh, get it, and they have to start uh, testing the bloods, taking needles, uh, insulin. You know, so uh, this is one of my uh, uh, things that I, I've been trying to uh, you know, commit some time to. And also, we're giving uh, a 10% uh, of the final sale price on the uh, Million Dollar Piano and the Green Cheat uh, to the foundation. So. Um, Here's a, an interview that uh, was done by Fios uh, uh, TV uh, uh, on, on Verizon One. And um, this is uh, Greg Blanc, 
uh, from the Push Pause uh, TV show there, and he uh, interviewed uh, me and uh, uh, Bob Perant, uh, who works with the Long Island chapter, came down. And, you know, we, we talked about uh, diabetes, and we talked about some of the pianos, and, and, uh, and I, I hope you enjoy it. Sonny Stan Caron, owner of Sonny's Art Case Pianos, has a passion for playing and the artisanship of pianos. I was born into a family of musicians. I was very fortunate. My father just started taking piano lessons when I was born. And uh, by the time I was seven, he was giving me piano lessons. It's just something that uh, grew, uh, not, not just enjoying playing, but also enjoying the, the beauty and the, the, uh, the artistry of uh, piano uh, making and just how they sound and also how they look. Stan Carone is hoping the success of his business goes to a good cause, raising awareness and much needed funds for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. I've had many friends that had type 1 insulin dependent diabetes and I, until I really saw it firsthand, I had no idea what a devastating, debilitating condition it is and how difficult it is to manage. It's a pancreas transplant and that's being done down in the University of Miami in Florida. Bob Perrant is a volunteer with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation living with type 1 diabetes. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in college. Nobody in my family had it. Uh, I was going out for sport and they found uh, sugar in the uh, physical. Um, from that I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and had to start taking uh, insulin shots. There is quite a bit of confusion as to the differences between the types. Type 2 is a metabolic disease where your body still produces insulin but for some reason is resistant to it. Type 1 diabetes is a autoimmune disease which means your body attacks um, certain cells within the body and that's the beta cells within the pancreas and that shuts down the pancreas from producing insulin. As you eat that is turned into glucose, which would eventually be energy, the insulin needs to break that down. Without that insulin, your blood sugar continues to rise and could cause uh, very serious uh, issues within a couple of hours, so it is very dangerous. People don't run around saying that they have type 1 diabetes, they just manage it. But their first job before anything else is to manage, and they spend the whole day testing the blood sugars, uh, taking multiple injections to juggle it, they go up, they go down, they crash. and. The thing of it is, is that if they don't take insulin, within a few days they'd be unconscious, within a week or so they'd be dead. My concern is those that are diagnosed at a young age. You've got children that are being diagnosed uh, 18 months, two years, and when I see that, um, that really hurts and um, I'd like to help them and that's what I do. I, I do talk to the parents, I do talk to the uh, teenagers that are diagnosed and even adults now that are uh, diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. We were very lucky to have uh, Sonny uh, contact us at the JDRF uh, Long Island chapter. It's, a, it's an honor to first of all meet Sonny and discuss with him his uh, caring about diabetes and, and type 1 diabetes. We've been very successful in buying and selling pianos and my feeling is that you know, if you get blessed, you bless back. We had these uh, two uh, pianos in particular that are absolute, the best, two most beautiful pianos I've ever had and, and, and I think I've ever seen and they're both hand-painted masterpieces. The Vernus Martin was uh, done in 1900. A uh, Prussian prince bought a Steinway uh, for his uh, uh, princess, as, as it appears the story goes, and then he hired a master of Vernus Martin style painting, and he created this incredible work of art. And we've restored it, both the uh, artwork and the inside. There's nothing like it in the world. It's called the Million Dollar Piano because that's the asking price. So then we said, let's donate 10% to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. And then also this piano here is a green chi uh, piano we call. And this is because this is a chinoiserie style uh, uh, artwork. And this was purchased 
from the New York City uh, uh, Steinway factory in 1918 uh, by a, a wealthy family in Buffalo, and they commissioned a, a master of chinoiserie art to create this incredible masterpiece. I mean, if the artwork on these pianos was on a canvas, uh, you, you, you could probably create five, ten uh, different uh, canvas masterpieces from the different segments of the piano, but they all on one piano. And so it's, a, it's almost a lifetime. You would always be finding new things on these. And, they, and the uh, chinoiserie, Steinway chinoiserie, uh, we put a player system in. So even if they don't play, you know, they have a work of art, they have a piano, and they have uh, hundreds of hours of live piano music. By doing this, I wanted to bring more awareness about what Type 1 is and also to encourage other people to also donate money to the cause. The money that Sonny would be contributing to the JDRF Long Island would be a, a great help to help people along the way and the final ultimate mission is to find a cure. For Push Paws in Bohemia, this is Greg Blank. So how did you enjoy your first uh, co-hosting at Sunny's <laughs> uh, Piano TV show? Well, this has been a great day. I'm honored to be here and to be your co-host and to share with these beautiful pianos and talk about it and play and play amongst all these amazing art case pianos. It's, it's truly an honor to be here, Sunny. Great. Thank you very much. So if you have any uh, business inquiries uh, for Margarita, you can reach her through her website, which is worldofmargarita.com. Hope you enjoyed uh, uh, the show today, folks, mm -hmm. and uh, we will see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>